Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to check your deleted Safari history on your iPhone. It's pretty quick and easy. So let's jump right in. Now I'm going to walk you through two different options that you have. The first one is we're going to hop directly into Safari here. And let's just start off by going to a website, let's say ESPN.com. Say you browse around through various websites. If you still have that tab open, you can tap the two squares at the very bottom right, and it will show you all of the websites that you currently have tabs open. But let's say we close this, let's swipe out of that. If you wanted to find those closed or deleted tabs or history, the easiest way is just to tap the little book icon at the bottom right. So right next to the two squares is the book icon. I can tap on it and you'll see here it shows this morning's history. So ESPN, Facebook.com, and I can go to Friday, February 9th, and you can see there is a bunch of Disney Plus options on here as well. To go back through time, you can see if I scroll all the way down, it has Friday, February 9th, but no other history on here. So you might be able to see those recently deleted tabs or websites on here. However, if you don't see them on here, maybe they got cleared, there is another option. Let's open up your settings here and tap on your name at the very top. Now that we're in here, let's tap on iCloud midway down and where it says show all right under passwords and keychain, let's tap that. Now, the key thing you can see right next to Safari, you can see that it is toggled on, indicating that the iCloud will sync all of your history from Safari over to your iCloud. So the best thing to do at that point is to check other devices. If you have everything synced up, maybe you have a Mac computer somewhere, an iPad somewhere, or even another iPhone somewhere, go on that device because if it is all synced up to your iCloud, you should be able to go to that other device and see that history, even if it's deleted from your iPhone. I hope this helped. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.